What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. What's up, everyone? What's going on, guys? Game of Thrones, Season 7, Episode 5, East yes. Watch. East Watch. Yes, sir. This was a... you, think there's, you think there's a battle between West Watch and East Watch? Maybe like a rap battle thing? Going? A rap battle. <laughs> Epic <laughs> rap battle, East Watch, West Watch. Inside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, Mike, this was a heavy episode, was it not? It was. It, was it wasn't very... so action-packed, yeah. but yet very informative, and oh, we yeah. got a Tons... lot of cool, pivotal information. Absolutely, absolutely. So why don't we jump right into it, as always. Let's do our yeah. favorites. I want to I start. I want to tell you what my favorite Ooh, is. I all, actually, right. I, all right. I actually have... I, I, I'm, There's I'm multiple. Torn. I have a few. Yeah, I probably I'm have torn. a few big big parts of this so okay my first and ini- initially my first my favorite was um the dragon you know uh john john petting the petting zoo no well not not at first it, it's when it's when she is telling them to she's telling uh, the tarley's army and everyone to oh okay the to kneel yeah, yeah and drogon is there and I, I, that also we'll get into that scene in a second but that that was one of my favorites but then the john scene after that because it was after it it's like oh my god that was really cool right. it was a kind of a silly little scene where he was she couldn't see what was happening and i'm sitting there and i'm going oh my god yeah that, I know. he's got he's got targaryen blood she's sniffing it out you know but the thing is well, it's like he so, yeah you know what's funny is that my brother my brother's like that was a dumb he's like it was a cool scene but it was it had it made no sense in that, why would she land there? Like, what was the point of her actually landing right at that spot where John was standing? And I'm like, I think maybe showing some superiority or something to a degree, I, you know or what? just showing it, about, what you know who she is. And how about it doesn't matter? Who cares? Because it, she landed there. John was there, yeah. and it was just it was teasing us, showing us that look, he's touching the dra- he has dragon blood in him. Like yeah. he's got that's the whole point. So that was one of my favorite. Oh, um, I, so those I two, agree. those two were pretty much my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I enjoyed the the John scenes, the Danny scenes. I've I've really been enjoying them the last few episodes that we've, you know, because now John has been at Dragonstone for the last uh, three episodes, three episodes, right? So yeah, no, I I understand completely what people were saying because I've been hearing rumblings like, oh, what did that mean? Um, I wanted to see more out of Danny at, when while John was was touching him. I myself, I enjoyed the fact because we did get so much about John and his lean, lineage and the R plus L thing. We can all say it. He's a Targaryen. He's Rhaegar's uh, son and Lyanna's son. And that's all they were building up this episode. That was a big major part. And that was and that was one of my um, favorite parts that stuck out and, the, and that pivotal information we got, especially with the Sam Gilly thing and what gilly was reading yeah. so that was all it was all a build another up damn that. tease too she's like he's he stops her right as she was about to say it, and i'm like oh my god yeah but you know i mean come on but like you, you said know? like you said off camera he's got he gave the book to the kid little sam yeah so so somehow maybe she'll read it again um it was funny how gilly was reading passages from the book and how she was talking about how many win- uh, steps were in steps um, and windows king landing king's, La- king's landing or oh, the windows the and, um, and and all that sept, kind of stuff yeah. and, and how he, she said he even tracked um, tr- his, his, bowel down, his bowel movements and yeah. stuff. So, yeah, it was it was funny. It was funny with with that. But yeah, dude, it was one of the the major um, plot points of this episode. It's been the main one of the major plot points throughout this whole entire series. Who John's family is, and uh, it, they pretty much thrown it in our face. Well, that was the thing. It was really cool to actually see the dragon. Let's. I want to talk about the dragon for a second because yeah. uh, while well, watching it, my wife was like. Nope, there, there's the budget for this episode. All oh, my the, God. Eh? Dude, look, it just looks so good. His but eyes, it wasn't, right? But it wasn't just that it looked good. Yeah, we know CGI looks amazing. We get that. That's not the point. The point is how they used him. But this yeah. is why I really enjoyed that scene where she's telling him to bend the knee. That was probably one of the best scenes that they've ever filmed, including the dragon as a character, because the dragon, yeah. he's not just that he's not, and she says that they're not beasts, they're my babies. But yeah. the point is that he's they're smart. So she's yeah. talking and he's and he's punctuating what she's saying. She's like, Oh, and you're gonna bend the knee. He's like, Roar! and he's like, just when he when she says bend the knee and he roars out. No. Yeah. Right? Like, dude, it, it shows it the was control. Absolutely insane. Right? That it he shows knows the control. that he's so smart. And yeah. then, right? So not only is he yelling at the crowd, right? Like mm. he's he's te- he's punctuating what she's saying. 
Yeah. When when they start bringing uh, Randall and his son um, Dickon up to be executed, he gets up. Drogon gets up and gets prepared. Like no yeah. one said anything. Like he just knows. So either yeah. he's connect, either she's connected like through a mind thing where she sent he senses what she wants, which is probably how he f- she flies him. So they're yeah. probably they don't mention it, right? Um, well, I believe in the books, don't they mention that that dragons are smarter than the humans? Well, yeah, but yeah, if I remember correctly, but also there's also kind of a warg type situation I think going on because being a warg is like a huge thing, and and um, but then again, we didn't really get much of that. And yeah. God knows when we're going to get the sixth book, and if it's going to be how much of this is going to be. I is, I would assume that the connection the major between stuff would be. the dragon, yeah, the dragon smith, we'll call her or whatever, and yeah. you know, and the dragons, what that real connection is like, um, really. But the point is, mm-hmm. is that he knows what she wants. Him getting yeah. up and just like getting prepared, and no one's and like, and you don't even notice it. You just you see his tail move out of the frame. Then it yeah. pops out. Yep. It's, yep. It yep. pulls out, and then you see him getting prepared as they're putting it. Like it was fantastic. That was one of the it best scenes I've ever I, shot. I just I, everyone I, in that scene was great. Um, yeah, it was like a nest almost. That one shot where you saw the sun and it's like shining through God, the web of his he's just, of his he's wings. Just it was like it was like a nest. It was really it was it kind of looked like he was like a bird. In, yeah, yeah. In a nest. Yeah, up on the hill. Yeah. So, um, let me ask you this: What did you think yeah. about her decision? Uh, her decision to burn them, to kill them, to execute them. Yeah. Yeah. I. I mean, I think it's a well. You that's agree. A, disagree. I mean, I agree. I agree. She had to do that. She gave them a choice. Um. What. What kind of. You know. After watching it, you're like, what other choice did you really have? Tyrion's trying um, to tell her like he's he's trying to keep her from being something that people don't want but she was right where she's like yeah well, what what's the point of me saying mm-hmm. anything if i don't yeah. it's just like when you have kids like you can you know i get i get criticized all the time like you, you say you're gonna punish your kids but you never do yeah. you know what i mean you got to follow through on it and that's the whole point she's got to punish people and you yeah. know it needed to be done and you absolutely know? i i agree i agree hey, like i yeah. i'm <laughs> Tyrion's Tyrion's idea um was was a, a big part of that, you know, after Tyrion and Varys are kind of talking and Varys kind of seemed a little um, unsure about Danny's decision and was asking Tyrion about what he thought. And, and they kind of got into, you know, what, uh, what, what Varys used to have to do with, when he was, uh, you know, on the side of the mad King and, and burning, uh, burning up, I think a couple of the Stark, the Stark men. Um, they burned everybody. And making, yeah. And making those tough decisions. But, you know, uh, uh, the the one cool a uh, cool part with with Tyrion this episode. I mean, there was a lot of cool parts with Tyrion this episode, especially with with Jamie. But I was kind of interested and wasn't expecting Tyrion being the one to come up with the idea about the whites. You know, after yeah. after Bran wargs and we see the when we we see how much of the of the whites are marching and how close they are to East Watch. You know, we really got. Um, Everybody has to really. Yeah, everybody shit their pants. There's ravens flying all over the place. There's information flying all over the place, which is really cool. Everything's very fast. Oh yeah, they so, just—they're not even. They just—they're just cutting they're not, from boom, boom, exactly. Boom, they're boom, going boom. all right. Brand says I need, you know, I need um, a raven sent to the citadel right away get because it obviously it. get it there. Yep. The citadel is the one with the information. People all over Westeros and the S, you know, and Essos will will believe whatever these the the maesters are saying. So that's that's very smart of Brand to say, you know, send this raven and tell them that we have a, a bigger threat coming. But the, you, you know, know I mean? so the maesters again, uh, you know. It, Obviously, we're gonna have these guys who think that they they think they know the best. They think they know everything. They don't. Yeah. They don't know shit. They don't know what they're doing. They don't believe Sam. Sam is like, mm-hmm. I've seen them. I'm telling you, this is real. We should listen yeah. to him. That that puts him on the path to be like, I'm getting the yeah. hell out of here. Yeah. Like we said earlier, he takes he takes uh he takes the kid. He takes Gilly, and they leave because he's like, I'm done. I'm I'll be better. Yeah. I'll be able to help more if I'm not with these idiots. So, you know, in my eyes, screw them. They're dead. I don't care. Like, I don't really care what they do or don't do. Mm. Has, things are moving now. Things are moving. So if you remember back in, what, was it season one or two what? where mm. they, where I think it was season one where the white, where the, uh, the white, they brought the dead, they brought the white into the um, castle black and then he turned and he, and he fought. Remember he. Yeah. He, I think that that was probably was season one. Season thought it was it, it, it's i don't point know is, they, it's they cut the arm off two. right and they yeah. sent it down the king's landing 
because it yep. was still moving and stuff. And obviously it decayed by then. They were like, why did they send? And I had completely forgotten about that. Yeah. And I was reminded and I was like, oh my God, that's right. So they've been trying to like, so this was like a thing that where they were like, mm -hmm. we're going to warn them, but that yeah, it never happened. It was just like, so, so let's talk about, let's talk about the, the, the treaty, which the armistice. Or what do you think, man? Armistice. Is it weird? I mean, it's obviously in st story wise, it's not that weird, but at the same time, it's like, because Jamie, well, Jamie, man, she she's not. She's she says she's pregnant now. She knows that Tyrion and Jamie talk when he presented the the deal to him. Yeah, and it's like, what do you? So she she doesn't give a shit about any of it. She doesn't care. She says no, she's, she's pregnant. waiting for her she's, moment. You know, she's waiting for her moment to strike. Yeah. You know, listen, Jamie. When Jamie first came back to her after he, you know, him and Braun came out of the the, the lake. You know, after they escaped. Danny, uh, Danny, Cersei was pretty much told Jamie, listen, um, I don't care that she has this many dragons because Jamie legitimately shit his pants. Jamie's told her, listen, she did this with one dragon. What is she going to do when she has three? Cersei doesn't give a shit. Cersei said, I'll, I'll pay whoever I have to, uh, you know? Yeah, I'll get the and army. It, that was that. really interesting, too. That was a great scene with them. There was a great dynamic with them all throughout the episode, Jamie and Cersei. Uh, but how Jamie was was talking about how the Dothraki kill for fun and and we don't stand a chance kind of thing. And Cersei was like, listen, it's me and you against the world kind of a thing. And now with this baby, potential baby, let me ask you this. Do you think she's lying or do you think she's actually pregnant? I actually didn't think so at first. And I don't think I do. I don't think I don't think she's lying. I, it didn't occur to me that she could be lying because yeah. what's the point? She She's not... It's not like he's saying I'm 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 on the fence about being here with you. What's the point of keeping him? No, but I think in so many words he kind of did say that because of how afraid he 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 showed um, mm, about Danny's um, army. Uh, I, I don't he's, know. He's showing know. doubts about them being able to win, but I don't Which think is that everything. I don't think that. Know? No, I think it's true. I'm gonna go with true yeah? on that one. Yeah. I'm All right. Go I mean, I'm kind of on the fence with it still because I can see how she can use that as a weapon against Jamie to not leave her side until listen Cersei will you know drink up all your wine until you have no more and then she'll move on kind of a thing yeah she'll use whoever she needs to use um you know in order to, to get what she wants so I can definitely see her using that as a weapon now listen we saw them sleep together it in the time scale yeah. everything's been jumping it doesn't necessarily seem like it was too long ago so for but even dude even okay you know it takes a while for shit to happen to for things people to travel so there's plenty to, a couple of weeks dude of course she could be pregnant in a yeah, couple of weeks how are you she's gonna feel back then in a couple of weeks that she's pregnant it could be like dude honestly honestly wouldn't, wouldn't it have was, to be he wasn't months? let's first of all he was gone dude he was gone he was at um where that battle happened that was like had to be at least weeks away, or a week but, away. But still, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't know don't the know. map of this, but the point is, is that that travel, it takes it takes a long time to come back. You know what I mean? I, guess. I mean, I understand, I understand, but it just seems like it might still be a little bit too soon for her to find out. But anyway, that was just a question I was posing because, yeah, you know, I was talking with people today, and 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 a few few of uh, a few of the people I spoke with said the same thing. Like, hmm, you really think she's pregnant? I don't know. And I think I that, think but, she's. I don't think she's lying. Hey, but... in the end, it's going to be fascinating once we see everybody together because it's we gonna... know what's going to happen. The, the the major the major plot points we know. Well, you know what? I'll tell you, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be harder for Jamie to kill Cersei in the end. I still think he's gonna end up killing her. Um, but now, what do you think about this armistice? This little treaty? Like, she's obviously gonna use it. She so she's gonna go she, through with it. I think she'll. Gonna... I think she'll go through with it. I mean, I think she'll go through with it. Um, to have like that's that's what I was kind of getting to is 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 the fact that once we have everybody together, it's gonna be really in. It's gonna be really cool to have all these characters that haven't seen each other or have never even met all together in one place in King's Landing, whatever it is to have Danny there and John there yeah. and, and, and Cersei there and Tyrion, the just the drama, you know what I mean? It's just going to be overwhelming. And I can't wait to see what having happens. Cersei and, and Danny with, meet is with gonna that. Be cool, yeah. um, listen, dude, before Cersei can do anything she wants, you know, or plot on war and plot against these guys, 
I don't even think that's going to end up coming into any of the equations here. The, the major plot point, like I said, is is the whites coming down. Um, I think that's what, in the end, everyone's going to realize will will take priority. I think Danny. I don't think there's going to be a Danny still squabbling with Cersei, you know, over over the throne, um, especially right right now. I mean, obviously, I don't know how it's going to end. I didn't. I mean, I didn't I see this coming co- this way though. Like, I didn't. I, I didn't mean, think about that. I mean, we we mentioned it. Do you think they would team up? But now it seems like obviously that's what they're planning. But then again, you don't know. This could this could go. They have to first of all. They have to get a. They have to get a white. So. Yeah. They well, so no, they I mean, they happen. head they head out um and like dude like I don't know if you watch the, the attractions for the next episode yeah. if you guys have yeah. a you know what I'm saying but that's that circle of 12 yep. it's it's the the just like the prophecy he he went out I mean he wasn't going to find the children of of oh, to say children of the corn the Man. children of the forest um uh I have kind of a theory that the children of the forest are going to help them though they if look like they're in left. dire need. I remember they... we spoke about if there were any left, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I sure mean, there could be some. I don't think it was all. Can... I don't think it was like all the all their eggs in one basket type situation, yeah. like whatever yeah, I mean, the, they... the three eyed raven was. But so they're out there, and they're, they're going to have a hell of a time trying to capture one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be great. I mean, especially since we have, looks like we found Gendry. Episode. You yeah. know, we so, found Gendry. Let's talk about Gendry for a second. Yeah, Jorg. So Jorg comes back, which was awesome. Um, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't over the top. She was like happy to see him. He was, yeah. in, he was in so happy to see her, mm-hmm. you know, he, then immediately he's like, I'll go because that's what he is. He's back to Jora. He's doing his thing. What I liked was that she was a little bit upset about that, but she was yeah. also upset about John leaving. You saw her face I, I, and she was like, you know, Oh no, I don't <laughs> want you to go, man. It's funny. I know she, she's like, uh, I kind of got used to you. you yeah. Know, the, and, and, and that was kind of cool. Like she, she's, they're building that. They're building that, that relationship very that rapport, well. Or that relationship, yeah. The Even when is, when when Jorah was, you know, when they were heading off, Jorah went to went to uh, to Daenerys and they hugged or whatever it was, and you know they embraced a little bit. Um, it was funny to see when John walked over to her. They purposely shot the scene where Jorah was in the background looking at. Mm-hmm their relationship you know what i mean like hmm, i wonder who you know, what's up with this guy yeah, Are they yeah. screwing around kind of a thing so you know obviously we didn't see them do anything and uh, you know honestly right now i don't see that that being the concern um but it's just funny how the the writers uh, you know in the direction of the show what they're trying to give us as the viewer you know also what's interesting about john is Again, he was chosen to be king. He didn't. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to be king. And and yeah, no, he John said is, that several times. John is John, though, meaning he's not one to sit and do nothing. He's so he's the one out there getting the dragon dragon glass. He's the one mm-hmm. that's going to go out and get um, a white. And a here's white. the thing, and and everyone back at at home is like, "What the hell is this guy doing? He's the he king. should be here." And, yeah. And Sansa's like, "Well, hold on now. He is the king, so we're not going to talk." you know, smack about him. He's going to, but here's the thing. That's John. That's classic yeah. John. He's going, mm-hmm. he's going to throw himself. He just cannot help himself. It's basically like, I'm going to do it myself because I need it done. Right. You know, Well, I love how Aria had John's back, dude. Well, she gave it to Sansa, it's, but you know, it's she, gonna be yeah, man. really, she called really Sansa cool. out on her shit. Oh, she definitely did. Because you know what? In the end, I don't think Sansa will, um, double cross it. Like I said, we have, the show is very good at making well, why, the plot points and yeah, what's like, and what's she? important or not. Now, the important thing is right now is the whites coming, boom, and what what the major characters are going to have to deal with with that that threat, right? the The show is cool at the secondary drama that's yeah. plotting around. Now, the secondary drama is you know the Sam stuff, the Sam information with Gilly about John, the the Arya and Sansa dynamic. Now, obviously. Um, little finger, you know, is planting these seeds. He, he, you know, in that's the beginning, dumb. can I tell you, man, that's an, I'm look, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a little bit annoyed. That, <laughs> yeah, that was the crappiest part. I don't care. I don't care what he's trying to do. I don't care what he wants to do. I don't what I don't care. He's trying to get into yeah. Sansa's. He's trying to get on her good side now and, and pit Arya against he's Sansa with whatever together. the dumb note was. 
Like, yeah. I don't care. Like, well, that's what dumb. I said. That's the that's that's just look. What else is going on in Winterfell? Nothing is really going yeah, on with Winterfell. He, he's always so got to make put, the drama. Yeah, yeah. They put the the little count the meeting with the other lords with Sansa, and they're just building a little bit of secondary drama, secondary plot points. And I mean, it was cool to see that the note um, that Littlefinger hid was the note that Sansa was forced to write back in season one, talking, uh, telling Rob that her father was a traitor and that the yeah. Lannisters are treating her well and all this kind of stuff. So obviously Littlefinger knows that that would irritate, um, really upset Arya. Arya. And that's all that's going to be. That's going to be like, let's build up a little, you know, Stark against Stark. And in the end, I think Littlefinger, I don't she's think Sansa's going to fall gonna, for it. Yeah, no, she'll go to Sansa and be like, what's that? And she's going to be like, I was forced to do that. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And, um, and I don't, little, you know Littlefinger what? is dead. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't even want to talk about him. She, she's going to yeah. kill him. It'll be fine. Arya was yeah. sneaking around doing yeah. her her, mm -hmm. her awesome, doing her moves. It was yeah. good. I don't want to talk yeah. about that anymore. I want to no. real quick talk about Gendry um, because I like, the yeah. I like that character. Mm -hmm. One of the funniest lines was Davos being like, I thought you'd still be rowing, you know? Yeah, like, they, there's an homage to everyone that was all those memes. Yeah, so it was it was really cool to see that. Um, mm -hmm. Getting him back was great. I really, yeah. I, I love that he, Davos is like, don't tell him who you are. And he went right up to him. He said, what's up? I'm, that was great. I'm, John Barathe I'm Rob, um, Robert Baratheon's son. Yeah. You know, bastard to bastard, that was great. And John picked up, he mm -hmm. appreciated, he was like, Mm -hmm. All right, dude. Not only that, is they that is that is that his dad's other, hammer yeah. though? Or no, he made his he made his he own, made his own but... hammer. Okay, because I was like, yeah. oh my god, is that Robert's hammer? Anyway, no. like father like son, he's got a hammer. That's cool. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm I'm an RPG guy. You know, um, I love that stuff. So when mm -hmm. you give a character a special weapon, like that's yeah. their weapon, that's what they do. You know, that guy's you know gonna be a tank. He doesn't. He's not necessarily. He's not built like the Hound or you know. Uh, yeah. torment or anything like that but yeah. you know he's he's a, he's he's got that thing so that was really fun i'm excited to see what mm -hmm. what goes on with him again he's just yeah. like i have to do this this is this is what my life is i'm yeah. i'm doing this i'm going with you i'm doing this um, i thought that was i thought that was really cool how there was no it just shows the pace that the show was on right dude that there was no just, fight no hesitation all right dude i haven't seen you in fucking 3 years or whatever it was yeah. let's let's uh let's go out and let's handle handle our it business it was great it was you know? it was really fun you know the producers yeah. even said about Gendry, they were like we couldn't have davos just sitting there twiddling his fucking thumbs yeah. waiting for Tyrion to come back we have to have him you know and he and he's like and we've always wanted a way to bring Gendry back in so that was awesome yeah. let's yeah. let's start wrapping this up here um yeah. i want to ask you what you thought about uh the brotherhood how, how i they... thought it's i mean hey it's cool i like the fact that um you know we got a badass crew going out to get the white and hunt down the white the one thing that i questioned that i thought was hilarious was i would have loved to see um the the wildlings trying to put the hound behind bars you know i just think that there must have been well there must have been at least a couple wildlings that well, would have been killed now, in order to get No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Think up. about it. No, they went there on purpose. No, I know, they, but just to see. I don't know. They went they to went, go to they, they, I don't think. I don't think the there war. was a. No, but I don't think that there was. Um. I don't think that. I don't think it was a fight. I think they just showed up. No, and no, like, no. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that there was help. a fight either. I just think that that would have been. Yeah, but they knew though. They didn't it would have been interesting to see them, but I, I think I see what you're saying. But I really yeah. think it was more the fact that they showed up and said, "Listen, we're here to help." And they're like, "Well, well, we're going to put you in the cell for now because we don't know what to do with you." Maybe you know we'll put yeah, you maybe. in here and then they show up. It was just so easy to put the hound and all you know who's a great fighter and 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 Thoros and all these guys into the cell. Like, okay, we'll hang out in the cell until John gets here or Dude, whatever. You saw the coming attraction for the next episode, right? Oh hell yeah! Where he where he where he pulls out his sword. Yeah, and it blazes up, dude. Yep. Oh yep. my god, I can't wait to see that. That's so cool. It's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be um, action packed. It's supposed to be. This is these last two of the the longer uh, episodes. I think this one is seventy one minutes, and I believe the last episode will be eighty minutes, eighty one minutes. Okay. So we're gonna get a lot more um, involved. Uh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm wondering. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for theories on the on the on where it's gonna go until after the next at least the next episode. Yeah, well, we'll have to do a nice theory video, and yeah. you know, everybody can kind of pose questions for us after the the finale. I mean, I think it's going to be 
it's just epic yeah. and i'm excited because of the pace of the show yeah it was good stuff this was this was a really cool episode it had a lot of stuff in it a yeah. lot of good stuff um anything else you want to add i mean obviously you guys are going to let us know other things yeah. in, this, in the comments like you normally do which is awesome thank you for that yes but yeah i mean i'm, I'm i i Again, I think I think we covered everything that I and I covered everything I wanted to talk about. Yeah, no, I mean me as well. Like I said, I was, you know, we have our we have our major plot points, which the show is very good at at telling us and giving the viewer. And then, like I said, with the Winterfell, the Sansa Arya small little squabble kind of things, or just just something to to give us a little bit. Those of are going to carry over. I think the, yeah, those are going to carry over into the showing next us what, yeah. yeah, it's, it's just showing us what's going on in these other places. Yeah. Um, you know, while the major threat is being handled. Oh, that's how this you whole thing. Yeah, this, it has to be, yeah. but I, yeah. I don't think any of us care. Do any of us, do any of you really care? All I want to see <laughs> is what, what Danny's going to do with Cersei and what they're going to do with yeah. the It's really all that's I care true. about. No, it's true. Oh, you know what? You just reminded me. I, I was talking to, uh, about this, uh, before we recorded now with the whole the letter thing with with um with uh um, aria and aria and littlefinger when that when the when the maester at winterfell gave little finger. Uh, little finger the the initial note when aria was spying on him i don't know if you guys um you guys let me know if i can be completely wrong or maybe just the way they shot it just didn't i'm wondering that note seemed much smaller than the one that aria found I don't necessarily believe it's a different note. I believe, you know, I'm sure we all know that Littlefinger, obviously. I'd have, you know what? I only got to watch the episode once, so I think I'd have yeah. to watch it again. You know, little Littlefinger planted it, and obviously yeah. for Arya to find it. But it just seems like, I was wondering if it may have been a different note, that there that there was Maybe. something else on that first letter that, that um, Littlefinger was asking about. But, I mean, I could be, it could be nothing, but I could, that kind of, like, stuck out of my mind, and I didn't get a chance to watch that ep- that scene again to, to kind of notice. Yeah. So you guys let us know if, if I'm just thinking way too much or if there might be something to it. Uh, just could be uh, something that the show, you know, when they were shooting the scene just didn't realize or whatever like that, or maybe he didn't, uh, you know, unscroll, you know, he took, didn't open didn't the open scroll. The way, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, but you let me know. Anyway, all right. So, uh, having said all it was of that, bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> where uh, where can they reach us, man? Uh, of course, you can reach us at Third Person Pod on all the social media sites on Facebook. We love to hear from you guys on there, so don't forget about that. Instagram, we've been posting some cool stuff on there, and also that shows we always post when we have um, you know new videos up and everything like that. So always check check with that. You can find out when we post the videos to YouTube. And don't forget to check us out on iTunes. You can listen to us on your way to work or hanging out or whatever you want to do. Just uh, show us some love on that on that site also. Please do, please do. Uh, yes. Uh, and that's really it. I don't really play. You, you guys, you guys watch. You guys know what we what we have. Yeah, What's check out on. the Comic Blitz. Check out Chris's other podcast that he does. Retrosquat.com. Check that out, um, guys. We got two ep- two episodes left. Uh, we may have uh, something interesting and uh, yes. cool coming up for the finale. We're not going to mention it here, uh, but you know we're still fleshing it out. But we might have something uh, really cool after after the episode airs. We might be doing something cool. Uh, you guys can come and join join us. So uh, we'll get more you know more details coming on that. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Uh, yes. Again, Game of Thrones season seven, episode five, East Watch. Thank you so much. East we look forward Watch. to all your comments in there. Don't forget and, and remember, we'll 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 get to them. Uh, yes. It, it, you know, give it give us a day or two. You know, we'll get to we'll get to all your comments. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We love you, and uh, we will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Peace.